Hey YouTube, welcome back to my data structures and TypeScript series. In this video, we're going to go over the implementation for a stack, and it's going to be very quick because a stack is essentially a linked list just with the added constraint of pushing and popping from one end of the linked list. So this stack really just encapsulates that constraint, and really it's just a linked list under the hood. So when we construct, we just want to set this dot list, and we're going to create a new linked list. And for our niceties, we're going to just use the linked list methods. So we're going to return this dot list dot size. And the same thing for checking to see if the stack is empty. We're just going to call it is empty on the list. And similarly for Boolean, return that. So is empty returns Boolean? Ah, uh, yes. I do not know why I said that. It's getting late. As I record these videos, it's later in the night. So clear is a method that just clears the stack. So we're just going to call this dot list dot clear. Then we have push, which is a method that inserts into the stack and it takes an element with the generic type T. All we're going to do is call this dot list dot add to the back and we're going to pass it the element. And likewise, popping is just going to pop off the last element of the linked list and return it. We have the return type T as a generic value. So we're going to call this dot list dot remove back. And we're going to yep, just call that and we're going to return this. So the caller gets the value. And peak is just going to peak the tail since we're using the end of the linked list as our top of the stack. So we're going to go peak back. And then contains is going to return this.list.contains and it's going to pass in the element and then if equals function exists then we're going to pass in the equals function otherwise we're going to pass undefined to the contains function contains method and i'm thinking i might turn this equals function i might put this as an instance variable i might put this date on, on the stack class and likewise on the list when i construct it so when you're looking at the source code in GitHub, this might change. And the iterator is going to simply re return the linked list iterator. So we're going to do this dot list dot, or not dot, symbol dot iterator. And I think we're going to invoke that function to return the iterator, uh, since we're returning iterator with the generic type T. And that is it. I'm going to go expand these descriptions. I'll go over the runtimes. Size is constant is empty is constant and clear is a constant amount of work as well they're 001 and pushing and popping again insertion and deletion are constant amount of work constant amount of work peaking we're just peaking at the end of the list so that's constant amount of work as well uh, contains is going to be o of n because we have to search through the entire list checks that the value is in q oops this is copy pasted that's going to be O of n. And then the iterator is, I don't think that makes sense to have a runtime with that. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about queues. See you then.